I will start today with probably the most popular and the most famous variation uh, ever played in a tournament. A quick ant attack in the Z configuration. So let's start from the beginning, from move one. Uh, let's talk about this. Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. Um, I decided to start a new series about Hive openings. I want to focus each video on different specific variation. Um, not something necessarily very advanced. I want to start from the, the basics, um, commentate move by move and try to explain the, the meaning of each move in the opening at least for the variations that are more common, that are more popular nowadays uh, at the top level. I have quite a few years of experience now and I think it's one of the most uh, enjoyable and entertaining part of, of Hive, the fact that we don't have um, opening literature yet, but we are developing our own literature, our own theory. Um, so we also give name to new openings, um, unlike chess where everything is kind of already settled down and uh, yeah of course there are new there are novelties once in a while but for Hive we have novelties basically every day and uh, since we don't have a strong um, AI yet um, we actually don't know if some variations are really sound as they look like um, and every every move could be uh, could be a novelty could be could make the difference um, and that's what I like, one of the things I like the most. So I thought I would share something with you and uh, I will start today with probably the most popular and the most famous variation uh, ever played in a tournament and not in tournaments. Uh, on BGA you will find plenty of games starting this way. A quick ant attack in the Z configuration. So let's start from the beginning, from move one. Uh, let's talk about this. Ladybug, Ladybug. This is the probably most common ever um, opening played. Um, the role of Ladybug um, should be clear already. <clears throat> if you don't know about it, um, we mainly use a Ladybug uh, for a simple reason. We want to free the first piece at some point later in the game uh, at the right time. And the ladybug is perfect for this. It can jump out and it's very flexible in terms of uh, spaces it can move to compared to the grasshopper. So many times the ladybug can get out and attack at the same time. And this makes the difference in so many games um, where there is a race where both player attack the opponent queen. And just for a single move, a single tempo, um, you can actually win. <clears throat> of course, the grasshopper is also very common and uh, um, the pill bug in the last few years has become more and more uh, popular, but um, today we talk about the slate bug opening. <clears throat> Why the white will play the ant first and not the queen? Um, <clears throat> good question. Some people play the queen first, but um, there is what is called uh, the queen game. So um, the first one who plays the queen um, gives up on this game in, in the sense that the opponent will be able to decide the relative configuration of the queen. Okay, so if you are the first one, you leave the hand to your opponent uh, on this. If white waits one more move, is hoping that black will play the black queen somewhere, and at this point, is white choice to go for Z or. Uh, when uh, queens are on opposite side, or a C configuration, or even something different, a buffer opening. The point though is that <clears throat> most of the time, black doesn't have to go for it, unless he plays an anti-spawn defense or other uh, specific um, specific openings. We'll talk about it in another videos. But many times, black uh, just wait playing the most popular and most flexible uh, move possible that is uh, the mosquito in line. This was um, played probably since the very beginning, since the mosquito was introduced. I think Randy said that in 2010 or 11, I'm not sure when the world, um, what year the World Championship was held, um, Fumanchu, um, um, a player with this username, started to play, a pretty strong player, started to play this setup um, very, very often. 
and since then has become the most popular response for black and uh, is the beginning of a certain setup um, so we can say that actually this response can be used basically for everything white plays almost everything maybe in some cases you, you can argue uh, you want to play something different but you can't go wrong okay if you want to play this all your life you can and at the same time you're waiting for white to um, to reveal the position of the queen okay um, white can play um, can still play this waiting game and um, for example plays uh, another piece before playing the queen let's say in mosquito here or in line uh, black could potentially move on and um, uh, with this game and delay as well uh, but many times we'll just um, put the queen down and then is white turn to go for z or c opening um, this is often used when white wants actually to force black into a c opening and this is a very different story uh, I'll, I'll make sure to make not to do another video about this because it's very interesting but it's a something different we don't really want to talk about this what we talk about instead is the case when white plays the queen and uh, leaves black the choice of the queen configuration and black can go for z or c um, in this video we talk about z configuration the differences between the two are massive but um, i can't say there is a consensus about which one is better c opening might be slightly more drawish because the two queens share one kill spot and it's easier to surround them both at the same time um, the z opening might be a bit more um, aggressive or uh, it shows that black wants to wants to fight for um, for a win and um, but there are many exceptions and um, we can talk about this in another video as well i think i'm saying too many times to talk about in another video what am i talking about in this video um we'll get there soon now white has got a few options and the one we talk about in this video is the quick ant attack so we <clears throat> attack in this spot we don't want to attack on this spot simply because we want to control this spawn point for black um, we don't want to leave <clears throat> extra space mm, unnecessarily so this is definitely the best move if you want to get attack the queen straight away and there are of course other options you can attack the mosquito this is called compound attack or you make a true pin on the mosquito um, and of course you don't go straight away for the, for the queen but this doesn't mean it's without some uh, venom another option for white would be just to wait and play a mosquito for example or a pill bug um, there are many options but um, this is probably the most played uh, opening ever it feels very natural you attack the queen straight away and um, take advantage of the fact that white moves first um, pin immediately the queen and prepare to bring other pieces in play um, close to the, the black queen so how does black respond so in, uh, here we talk about today we'll talk about this variation which is again the probably most common response the idea is very simple you want two defenders two ants um, to defend against a beetle attack which is the most um, most sensible uh, idea not the only one but it's uh, it's important to be prepared uh, for it there are other other options um, I play um, personally quite often this idea um, even if the pill bug uh, is not placed next to the black queen um, is in a proximity position and the mosquito also got pill bug power and the idea is to complete let's say white placed in chill way you complete the pocket in this in this way uh, we'll see this pocket idea um, in a different way in this variation as well um, we have another option that is the cap um, Randy plays this option quite often I think and um, the idea is just to prevent completely shut down completely any um, piece attacking um, from this side um, the problem is that the mosquito is moving again and you don't increase the mobility so white can place um, 
another ant and uh, is threatening to choke the black queen. So if black doesn't place a pillback right now, he probably won't have many options in the future. So black will probably play this. And now um, white is kind of ahead in the ant game. Um, of course, black is is always able to um, sacrifice two ants and get um, the fourth ant down. And um, still uh, is, in, is a good variation, but um, like it's a bit more complicated for black, I would say. Um, the last variation we're not talking about today, but there will be another video about it, is um, the, I think I can call it Quadlibet variation. Quadlibet, um, three-time world champion, was the one who played this move at the top level for the first time in 2021. And uh, it might seem a very weird move. Um, why would you move again the Mosquito in such a position? Um, the idea is kind of simple, <clears throat> is to place um, a new piece, um, the, the ant or uh, even better, a pill bug in this position, create a gate, um, an X trap, which means that every time white gets this kill spot, the black ladybug is free. At the same time, he pins the white ladybug in this bi-directional pin, and the, the white ladybug will have a hard time to to get out. Um, this is a whole variation uh, its own. Um, it's quite different from the classical variation we will talk today, but it's so fascinating I had to mention it. Um, I think he, he really changed a lot the perspective of black in this in this opening. But let's go finally to the main variation. I think I can call it main variation, where we have this diamond. Uh, it's a it's a very typical uh, setup. You can use it as if you play white as well. And you're basically ready to react to anything white does. Okay. Um, what does white do now? And there are so many options as well here. Um, the most popular variation is probably playing a beetle here. So a single beetle attack uh, straight away. Um, you would you could think that um, it doesn't make much sense because black has got actually two, um, two defenders, so it will be able to defend against any beetle attack. But of course, things are not this simple. And this is probably the variation that puts um, the most pressure on black. Um, Black now has to decide if it wants to pin with Mosquito or the Ant. Um, I've seen this played in many games, especially between Alekin and Judoka um, on BGA. And um, of course the idea is to shut down completely the Beetle, covering it at the next move. Um, and at the same time, you free this space for the Pillbug. Um, that it wasn't, that it didn't have any nice spawn point close to the, to the queen. So the most popular response for black here is probably pinning the beetle with the mosquito. So the mosquito will lose ant power, but at the same time uh, it will be able to cover the beetle at the next move, and you still have an ant available to pin another beetle or <clears throat> whatever other piece white would put in play. And then um, in many games white has sacrificed another ant with the idea of uh, putting a, a second beetle uh, down if uh, black will uh, will pin the <coughs> will pin the ant uh, for example uh, black plays this also with the idea of getting the x trap um, <coughs> then white will get the second beetle um, in play um, this is still possible for black um, although <coughs> white has got a good um, a good score in this position usually um, the problem is that uh, here the mosquito will be able to pin the beetle um, or um, if not at least to um, create some um, complication in the center and it seems um, <coughs> it seems like um, too quick and too fast for, for white but because black can actually just get out of the ladybug um, but he, he ends up actually white has got uh, good um, good ideas here. Um, the main point is that black doesn't have uh, now many spawn points to place new defensive pieces. Uh, and this is quite dangerous for black. Uh, this, let's see how it can go. Um, I'm following one of the game between Alekan and Judoka. 
um, and now white um, is actually in a pretty good position. <clears throat> I'm not sure black can defend here. So let's go back to um, the previous, um, previous turning point. So instead of pinning the white hand here, um, black could be could play a bit more safely and play spillback. So of course the ant will be sacrificed, but uh, you don't have to worry about it. Um, covering the beetle and with the idea of placing uh, the next two black ants here. And uh, even if you sacrifice one, you get another one. And at the same time, the mosquito now is free to uh, to move down uh, since the beetle is pinned by the other ant. And uh, um, black is doing quite well, actually. Let's let's see how the game could go on. Um, go on with the mosquito. <coughs> um, black has pinned uh, the white mosquito, which is always a good idea if you can do it. In general, neutralizing the opponent mosquito, um, I wouldn't say it means black has equalized, but um, I, I feel um, safer <laughs> when that happened. Um, of course, here black needs to anchor the ant with a with a beetle or another piece. Um, actually, the, the beetle is the best, because um, otherwise the white mosquito will move the black ant. The beetle needs to be played here because um, if white plays this move, then um, black can cover the um, the pill bug. While if you if you do it on the other on the other side, here. Uh, now white can play this move and black is kind of in trouble because now black is not able to do this without actually losing two pieces at the same time, the ant and the beetle, and it's quite good for white. Um, but okay, this was just um, an idea of how the game could develop, but it's quite okay for uh, black. Assuming you place the pillback down, um, yeah, the pillback down at the right time, and you still have enough mobility to let's uh, watch a different variation. <clears throat> so here, um, uh, you could uh, pin the um, the beetle with the ant. Okay, in this case, the mosquitoes lost ant power, so actually a second beetle attack cannot be stopped straight away, but the mosquito is there in a good. Um, in a good position to recover if a beetle comes in anyway and black is able immediately to get double defender now white has to go up with a beetle otherwise um, i would have wasted both beetles and black um, has the option of um, counter-attack straight away and um, in some games it actually worked quite well um, if you if we do some some counting um, black is not is not behind in the attack um so it's one of one of those cases where uh, a counter attack it's quite promising even if it's very early on in the game and um, the game could go on in this way um there's just a, a possible variation where black counter attacks um and uh, uh, actually, black has got two direct drops here. At the same time, the black ladybug is uh, sorry, the black mosquito is ready to uh, jump and escape and attack at the same time. Um, so that's quite uh, an interesting and uh, just to give you an idea of how complicated the position could could get. Another option for black here is to just increase mobility again. Um, here black says, okay, I don't really care if the white beetle goes on top. Um, I've got the three ants here. I can basically decide what to do. And um, I've seen this move, this pillback played here um, a few times as well in a proximity position. The problem with this move is that the mosquito is now not able to get out as, a, as an ant. And the problem is that if one of these two ants move, um, let's, say, let's say this move, uh, or this move, then the mosquito here is temporarily blocked. Um, I'll say temporary because as soon as black places down another piece here, then the mosquito is able to move again. But of course you are uh, stretching a bit the hive. Um, it, it's still fine because um, black has good mobi ant mobility, but um, it's something to mm, take into account. But it's a, overall it's a good setup to consider. Let's go back and let's have a look at other white choices. Um, apart from the most popular beetle uh, attack, uh, the mosquito, for example, 
Um, you will think this is a quite big sacrifice, right? Um, but there are some quite nasty ideas that the black has to consider, take care of. Well, first of all, if the black mosquito pins um, the black, the the black, uh, the, sorry, the white mosquito, then uh, the black mosquito gets stuck here. Okay, um, the white mosquito get its pinned as well. You will say, but um, white has some very aggressive ideas, placing the pill bug here, uh, and then the idea would be to, for example, throw in the, the black mosquito in here, or just simply uh, move the pill bug in here and uh, move the mosquito away. Uh, quite aggressive. Um, of course, white can go on also with the, the beetle plan, um, but I think the key to this um, to this idea of the mosquito here is having pill bug ready to um, to get in play, and it might become quite hard actually for black to defend. So let's get back to um, instead of pinning the white mosquito with the black mosquito, you can of course use your your ant. Um, Again, the white mosquito there uh, can be combined uh, with a pill bug, uh, and uh, at the same time, the white beetle has to go on top of the, uh, the height, cannot be stopped. Um, just rewind the position is this one, and the black mosquito has lost ant power, so white take advantage to place the beetle down and um, to force the beetle on top of the hive. And now, um, normally you would say that black is doing pretty well, um, and probably is, but it has to face uh, this uh, this idea that can become quite quite dangerous. Um, let's say um, black counterattack, um, white um, has got uh, two direct drops here, so maybe this is a bit too too much. But when we counterattacking with the ant, it's still possible. Although mm, the black ant will be thrown in here, and um, the white mosquito will cover the black ant, and then it becomes not very pleasant for um, uh, for black. Obvious idea would be to uh, pin, self pin the ant here. Uh, but still, um, white could um, play an anti spawn setup here, um, or just go straight straight away for the attack this way. Say you will you will see it becomes very um, complicated for black to defend. I think it's still possible, but um, as a um, as a very aggressive idea for white. Another idea for white is simply to um, place uh, sacrifice an ant first before going for the beetle game for the beetle attack. Um, but I don't see any particular problem here. Black will just yeah, pin the ant um, and then place the pill bug down and uh, I think um, black is doing pretty okay. There's an idea for white just to go for a beetle attack on this side rather than on the other side. Um, it's probably more, more useful, but um, there are many options of course for white. Okay, let's have a look at the last two uh, variations. Um, one is uh, using the spider. Um, to um, threaten to pin either the ant or the mosquito, and the um, the idea is also that the spider can get in and go into a kill spot, but um, I think this variation is not um, it's not the best for white. Black can actually again counter attack here, and the point is that um, if white has spent one um, one tempo one move to pin the black ant. Uh, now is actually black ahead in the race, so black can attack the queen straight away. The white queen doesn't have uh, and, and many spawn points to defend, um, actually only one. Um, and if it doesn't even defend, um, yeah, it will not have a pleasant uh, game. So um, I don't recommend this for spider uh, move for white. Maybe I'm missing something. You, you are free to experiment with the opening, but. Um, I don't see it's particularly uh, promising. And of course, the last, uh, probably common, most common variation is um, is uh, simply a slow game, placing a pill back um, 
in anti-spawn position. So this anti-spawn setup makes sure that um, black uh, counter-attack doesn't come uh, at a too big cost for white. And even if black counter-attack with the beetle, uh, then um, white will enjoy the anti-spawn setup. This is what it built for to, to resist again beetle's attack. Um, and then of course white can go on with the normal attack, but black is also enjoying the extra tempo that white has given. Um, um, so it's a definitely a less aggressive variation, but um, I've seen many people playing this. It's the Panzo quality by itself. So um, um, it's not something to, to, to underestimate. Um, but at the same time, I feel black has got a bit more briefing room, as uh, Judoka would say. Just time to brief a bit. Um, and go on with uh, ant mobility. Now as black is ready to to react to any white sacrifice or uh, uh, attack, direct attack. More or less mm, discuss all the main variations. Uh, of course, I can't go too much into detail. The, the video will be extremely long and um, um, I don't have any way to actually uh, evaluate with an engine, a strong engine, right? If some of this variation, some of my evaluations are correct or not. I just talk from my experience. Um, I'm sure you have played this variation many times as well. And if you didn't, go for it. Uh, it's a good way to um, experiment and just improve your uh, your count and your um, defensive abilities in this kind of structure, the Z configuration. Um, hope you enjoyed it. And um, let's let, let me know what you think in the comments, if you like it or not, and what, what uh, variation you want to see discussed in the next videos. Um, see you next time.